Hi, Grant Chang, Grant Chang Water Boxing Association here with part seven in my series of videos introducing water boxing. So today we're gonna to talk about leverage and how water boxing approaches it in maybe somewhat unique ways. Uh, we'll look at one movement from Zhu Ji and we'll kind of break it down a little bit and with the help of a partner a little bit later, I will show um, a little bit of how it's used and the, the mechanics behind it. So in Zhu Ji, we have this, this uh, posture. So I often get questions about what this hand is doing, what this arm is doing, why it's up here. Um, and it's a good question. Uh, so what this hand actually is, is it's basically leverage. It's leverage and it's a driver. Of force and with the help of a partner I'm going to show a little bit of how that works okay now with the help of a partner I'm going to try to demonstrate a little bit about how leverage is used with that particular movement from Shinji so if I don't use that hand and I form a bridge with her my force for the most part and it gets pretty complex but let's keep it simple for now for the most part, my force would probably be more in a horizontal direction. Uh, if I use this hand, or this arm, this side of my body, I basically start to raise my center of gravity and give it a little bit more of a vertical flavor or a higher flavor, right? at least on her end, what she feels. So there's a difference between this and this. It's kind of like I'm making myself a little bit taller. Now, just moving my shoulder is not enough. There has to be a connection in the body so that when you move your shoulder, you're, you are actually moving more than just this limb. If you disconnect this limb, even if you raise it, you're not gonna get hardly any effect, if any effect at all. Um, so, it, when you actually move though, rather than a static posture, coming up, coming up and over weighs in. So I weigh in on her. Now she can also use this obviously, and my wife is not a, a, a water boxer in particular. She's a hunga and toilet foot stylist, but if she feels that force, she can also get smart and use a similar force to weigh up, to push back. And obviously then we're both at kind of a deadlock kind of a deadlock, kind of a, yeah. Um, this can be used for a lot of things. It can be used to come over when I form the bridge. It can be used to penetrate. It can also be used in a grappling situation uh, in which if you're trying to control or weigh on the other, on one, on one limb, um, you can, you know, you don't need this arm for something else. You can use it in that type of uh, a way it's for leverage. So this here is one way that water boxing uses leverage. Um, and there are many different ways uh, besides that in the form. Um, and there are obviously many ways to apply it into combat uh, and including in ways that are not as obvious and that potentially leave you as open, uh, but that can work very well. So, uh, Please leave me a comment or a question, and thank you for watching. Thank Grant Chain, Grant Chain Water Box Association.